Sheriff's investigators uncovered a possible puppy mill on Buff Bethel Cemetery Road. 14 dogs were there in terrible condition. Two puppies already dead. WFO 40 gets Aria Pons live now at the animal shelter in Cobbert County where a lot of those dogs were taken. Aria, you talked to a neighbor of that so-called puppy mill. What did she say? That's right, Liz, I did. And Rhonda Pay says she just cannot believe something like this happened so close to her. She says it's truly heartbreaking that anyone could treat any animal in that way. Colbert County Sheriff's deputies discovered 10 dogs and four puppies severely malnourished on Bethel Cemetery Road Sunday night. Another two puppies were found dead. It's heartbreaking. Rhonda Pace owns the property next door to where the dogs were found, but doesn't live there. She says she didn't know anyone was staying here and couldn't believe what the authorities found. She also owns a goat farm and says she doesn't understand how anyone can harm an animal. No, we love animals. We love our animals and of course all of our goats that we've got and our horses out there. You know, you can tell from that we're animal lovers. So no, I, I can't, I can't fathom something like that going on. I really can't. Colbert County Sheriff Eric Ballantyne says he believed this could have been a puppy mill, though the investigation is still ongoing. He says breeding dogs in this manner has become a problem in the shoals. This dog breeding issue we have uh, seems to be uh, increasing, so we're going to do everything in our power to hold these people accountable, and uh, that's what we all want is to people be responsible and be held accountable. Valentine says people need to understand there are consequences if you don't take care of your pets. We need to encourage people to, if you're going to have animals, take care of them. Uh, they can't take care of themselves. Uh, if you're looking for a good animal, please go by the animal shelter here in Colbert County and adopt one of these animals. Uh, they are overran, they're overworked, uh, they're understaffed. The Colbert County Animal Shelter director says some of the dogs could possibly have parasites as well. He says they could use all the help and donations they can get at this point. He says as of now, they need pine salt, bleach, a lot of puppy food, and some wire pop-up crates. Reporting live in Colbert County, Aria Ponds, 48 on your side.